Hi guys, my name is Lily and today I want to show you my $100 poor man's survival kit. Now, uh, as you know, the camping industry is getting bigger and bigger. A lot of people want to go back to nature, camping and enjoy bushcrafting and such. But not everyone can afford a 300 euro sleeping bag or a 250 euro inflatable mat so today this video is dedicated to people who can't afford uh, expensive camping equipment and also for young people for example uh, school kids or students who just simply can't afford more expensive gear yet so this here is my survival kit for 100 dollars roughly a few things i have scavenged and yeah, if you're young, uh, maybe you can borrow some things from your dad. Maybe he was in the army and he still has his sleeping bag. Uh, I got this used army sleeping bag from an army store. It cost me around 25 euros. And yeah, this is a very good sleeping bag. It's warm. It goes down to um, zero degrees Celsius. And yeah, it's not the smallest, so um, the down sleeping bag over there is much more compressible and lighter. But hey, this still works. So this is something that I would buy if I didn't have enough of money for an uh, expensive down sleeping bag. And yeah, I also have this cheap rucksack here, this green rucksack. And this would go right into the backpack. Next I had these insulation mats at home. Um, they work. They will insulate you from the cold ground. The downside is that they are pretty uncomfortable and um, they are very bulky as you can see. So yeah, you need some kind of insulation and the cheapest thing that you can get are these mats here. And if you have a little bit more money left, then I would really invest in an inflatable air mat or down mat because they are a dream to sleep on. But if you don't have a lot of money, this will still work. It's sparky, but it's, it's going to work. And yeah, if you buy one of these mats, it will probably cost like five to 10 US dollars. Next here, Paracord. If you buy them in a bulk, you can get 100 feet for around 15 US dollars on Amazon. Paracord, uh, yeah, is one of the best survival cordages. This here is Paracord 550 and it, it has several inner strands, the white strands at the inside. So great cordage and that's what you need for your survival kit and for your camping equipment. Next here we have a military poncho. I believe that you can get one poncho like this here for 20 US dollars. This here is a thicker one. So make sure that you get a thick one because those ones that are quite thin, they tend to leak and you easily will rip them, rip a hole into them. So get at least one of them. They are not especially big and if there's a lot of rain, I would rather recommend that you um, take two ponchos with you. And they have these um, buckles so you can attach them to each other and then you have a bigger top. Okay, next on my list, I have this canteen here. And this is a cheap canteen out of stain stainless steel and I got it for 24 euros so this is a great deal and actually yeah uh, you couldn't get these a couple of years ago so uh, you only could get like the standard army canteen cup which is out of stainless steel and sometimes in army shops you would get the aluminum cup but i i don't recommend that one problem that I have experienced with stainless steel is that sometimes they use very cheap steels. So you have to be aware of that. Sometimes uh, it, it happened to me once that 
the, that I had a stainless steel canteen and I filled water into it and after a couple of hours it tasted so much like metal and that's when they use cheaper steel so you really have to be careful it's important that you try out uh, the, set, the canteen set before you go out and if and then you just fill in some water and you wait and then you drink from it and if it tastes after metal you just send it back and yeah uh, one bottle of water is not enough so I recommend taking two bottles of water you can take an ordinary PET bottle it's nothing bad about that or you can get this more bump proof Nalgin bottles here uh, they are BPA free and yeah good plastic bottle very sturdy I still wouldn't recommend pouring hot water into it I would always use the stainless steel one for the hot water and also some people I see only have like a canteen and this plastic bottle but I highly recommend um, bringing a stainless steel canteen because when it's getting very cold the thing that you do is you boil some water in this cup here and you fill the hot water into the canteen and then you take a shimak and wrap it around the canteen and you take it with you into your sleeping bag so um, usually I don't boil in my canteens I only boil in the cup because the cup gets dirty and I don't want the canteen to get dirty when I take it into my sleeping bag so usually I just fill the water into the canteen after boiling at least that's how I do it um, next you need some gloves for working to protect your hands here I just have a few cheap gloves they, I found them in the shop of my dad and here I have a roll of fishing line which I need for my fishing kit and in the fishing kit in here I have hooks, I have weights, I have swivels all the things that you need for fishing and I have it in an Altoids can which I scavenged and you can make jar cloth in an emergency situation with this can and yeah fishing line you can never have enough of fishing line and and additionally with the fishing line you can set up your perimeter alarm using these alarm devices here oh Ooh. i'm dying so these are very cheap they cost like three euros or so per piece and with two of them you can easily set up a perimeter around your camp then next in here I have this compass very cheap one I think I got it for two euros and then I have this red bandana here I got it I don't know a couple of years ago I don't know how much it was I got some wire you can make some torches with it or use it for snaring and then I have this uh, fire making kit I have some candles in it I have matches, multiple matches, I have cotton, I have candles, I have some fat wood in there and jute twine covered in beeswax. That's a great fire starter, it burns like a candle. So now we are covered for shelter, water, fire. And the next thing that we need are cutting tools. And you can get this set here very cheaply for 24 US dollars this here is a Barco folding saw it will do a fine job when carving you know down small trees for shelter and for firewood and I've got this Barco knife here which was my secondary knife for a long time and actually yeah it's not full tank so if you have more money in future I would definitely invest in a full tang knife but this here is great so for normal carving tasks and cutting tasks the Barco Lab Blender is a great knife 
Okay, next I want to come to lighting. A headlamp is a must for every survival kit. With the headlamp you have both hands free and you really need to see in the night. So I would never go out without a headlamp. And here I have a very cheap self-made camping light. And I've scavenged this from an old flashlight. And it runs with an 18650 battery, which is rechargeable. And with that you have even more light. So yeah, uh, I almost forgot. Every time I left my first aid kit at home, that was the time when sub something happened. So take it with you, it's important. Um, you can cut yourself with the knife, with the saw, or maybe you burn yourself with the fire. So many things can happen in the outdoors. So a good um, first aid kit is a must. And I have this first aid kit in this waterproof container, uh, in this waterproof bag, I mean. And yeah, it's important that you keep your stuff dry. Yeah, so this is what I can recommend if you are a beginner in bushcraft and if you want to go camping but you don't have the money for expensive gear. And yeah, nothing bad about this gear here. It's maybe a little bit bigger and heavier and not as efficient but you can still get around no problem basically yeah there's nothing more that you really need except food and if i had a little bit more money i first would invest in a better insulation mat because these here are quite bulky and yeah the new insulation mats they are so so small in the pack size it's unbelievable. So first I would get a better insulation mat, then I would probably get a better knife, a full tang knife. Maybe you get a Christmas present of your girlfriend, then ask her for a better top or a better sleeping bag, which is a little bit more uh, compressed and lighter. And there are so many good products out there that you can get, but first you can start out with a kit like this. I want to thank you for watching, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned till next time.